These are good intentions. Youth employment, cybersecurity, public transport, entrepreneurship, digital and renewable infrastructure. Why aren't we prepared to contribute to it? And say, fine, go ahead with 1.75. Knowing the benefits that will come you know, out of Dave, it. Dave, nobody is saying we are not prepared to pay. Most people I've heard are prepared to pay, uh, to pay and they have been uh, advising. All they are saying is that the rates may be high and therefore uh, reduce it so that people will pay. And most people will pay when they know that whatever I'm going to pay, foreign services they say they are going to use for road. And I have seen my roads being done with the tax that I'm paying. If you ask me to pay more, I'll be willing to pay more. Mm. So start from a little and let me see the impact of that little contribution and then ask for more. I know that when I pay more, I will see bigger impact. Therefore, I'll be willing to pay more. So people are normally not willing to pay because over the years we've been paying and the kind of waste we see in the system. Somebody will see a convoy of about uh, 20 SUVs and they'll be like, ah, your tax now, yes, say, you say. So such a person, you ask a, the person to come and pay tax and the person will be like, oh, they are also going to waste that, the tax that I'm paying. But when we are seeing the end product of whatever we are paying for, then it makes it easier for mm. you to ask for the person to pay more and the person will be willing to pay more. That is the essence. Okay. So people are not just unwilling to pay, but we want to see that whatever we pay, we get the result or we get it, we see the impact. Have, you, have you sent in your you know voice note already? What would you love to see happen to the e-levy? What would you want to hear happen to the e-levy? Some say 0.5%, some 